Hey to all my coily and curly friends. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. As you can see, I did a thing. If you're interested in seeing how I straighten my hair and get it to last for at least a month, keep watching. When I am straightening my hair for it to last for as long as I can, which is roughly a month, I like to go in with products that are lightweight. So what I have in my hair so far, the Sacred Hydrating Shampoo. I use Ajua Beauty's uh, Deep Conditioning Treatment and my all-time favorite Apple G Pro Vitamin Leave-In Conditioner. This is all that I have on my hair and all that I'm going to be using throughout this process. I've had these braids in since yesterday. I sprayed my leave-in conditioner, braided my hair up, I let it dry with a bonnet dryer and I am going to now blow dry it using the Rev Air. I've never used the Rev Air before straightening my hair so let's see how good this works because if i'm going to put the effort into straightening my hair i want to make sure that it lasts a long time so hopefully i can get a good result with the rev air first if not i'm going to have to go in with my revlon dryer which i normally use oh so i kind of don't want to use this but let's see how this turns out Man, if I was just recording, this Rev Air just started sparking and yeah, scratch that. I'm not using that on my hair. I guess it's done, but I got an issue with that because that machine was expensive and I'm sure I'm out of warranty. But yeah, um, Rev Air, we gonna put you to the side, honey, and go to this Rev line. One very important thing about blow drying your hair before straightening is to make sure that you get your ends as smooth as possible. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to let go of this blow dryer and just start over with all my blow dryers. <laughs> they done held up long. They was they held me up real long, so I ain't even gonna be mad at it, but it's time to let it go. I don't even think the heat is letting off as evenly as it used to. Now for the straightening. I'm crossing my fingers that this flat iron works and I don't have any problems because I've also had this flat iron at least 10 plus years. So this is how she looks. I'll be using the Nano Titanium Babeless Pro. Um, like I said, I've had this for almost, well, well over 10 years. The plates still look good. Yes, I will be straightening my hair on 450 just so I can get it as straight as possible. I definitely get as small as a piece as possible to iron. Should have got a scrunchie. I'm so excited about this first pull because I'm really hoping my hair falls like right under boob prior to trimming. That would be amazing. And that's the thing too about straightening your hair. I straighten my hair once a year at max. So every time I straighten my hair, I get to see how much growth uh, my hair has had over the past year. So <sighs> let's see. Before applying any heat to my hair, I have to be able to run a fine tooth comb a couple of passes without any snags. To get an even press, I hold my hair taut from the root and firmly clench the iron all the way down. And make sure it passes the flow test. 
Um, I'm gonna go one more time, real quick. How do you know when you need to trim? This is how you can tell. These ends, they kind of get stuck a little bit and they're a little frayed. So I'll probably be going up to at least right here. When I noticed the static in my hair, I realized that it was actually coming from the light, which made me think that maybe the rev air being plugged up with that light caused the socket to blow and caused the machine to spark. But the verdict's still out. Okay, so it looks like my hair is still like right at or right below boob length. And honestly, I've been at this length for like at least the last two to three years. I'm happy I'm able to maintain length. So that means that what I'm doing physically is working. Um, I did experience some breakage recently. So I'm glad that from the looks of it so far, it looks pretty healthy. But I'm trying to get the waist length. I think maybe the next thing I'm going to start doing is incorporating vitamins uh, or the supplements to see if that will help my hair grow from the inside out instead of just what I'm putting on it or what techniques I'm using to maintain the length because I've honestly been at this length for so long and I was excited about straightening my hair so I could see how much it's grown but child it looked like it's at the same spot. So, um, I would say I'm still about six to eight inches still away from waist length. Uh, but yes, if you have any suggestions on any supplements that have worked for you in the past to promote hair growth, let me know. I remember trying biotin like a long time ago, but I don't really feel like it necessarily grew my hair out. If I can't remember what it did, then it couldn't have done that great of a job of what I wanted it to do. But yes, that's what we're gonna do next. It's good enough. <laughs> that's too close. I guess for now, I'm gonna just do a middle part because thinking it'll help me with trimming. But. This is my final result for me straightening my hair. Um, it feels weird having my hair be flat. I definitely prefer it more in a um, curly state because I like volume. But this is what we're working with. My ends are a little stiff because they need to be trimmed so they ain't really moving right. But I'm finna handle that in a second. Okay, oh, let me give you the back view too. This is before I trim it. I'm going to probably have started this video with my hair already trimmed. But right now, I hope you can see the back. I, let me look. I am basically a little below bra strap, which like I told you before, I have been for like years and I really want to clear this hump. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next video.